Hey everybody, it's Bunny. I bet you knew that already. It's First Impression Friday, and I am particularly excited about this week's First Impression Friday because it's almost like a does this thing really work also. I actually was sponsored with this amazing device. I'm sure it's amazing. I've yet to test it out actually myself. That's what we're gonna do today together. But it's called the Lumia. I always wanna call it like the Lumia. I just wanna leave out that extra ill in it, but it's actually the Lil Lumia. It is supposed to deep clean your brushes with little to no effort to yourself or myself today. Thank you very much. This personally is an extremely handy dandy device for me because unlike most people that probably deep clean their brushes once a week, I shampoo my eye brushes every single time that I use them. Especially lately, I have been having like bizarre eye conditions, like extreme eye allergies and irritation. So I always want to deep clean and wash the bacteria off of my brushes. I also have a really bad habit. I know you're not supposed to, but like literally every time I can't control myself. Every time I'm putting on my eyeshadow, I like like blow the extra makeup and eyeshadow off of my brushes. Like you're not supposed to do that because you're blowing your mouth bacteria onto your very own brushes and then you're wiping it all over your eyes and spreading it all over your eyeshadow. It's a really filthy habit. I can't stop doing it. I've been doing it as long as I've been doing my makeup and it's like ingrained in my body and my soul. So I just absolutely feel filthy to like rub anything on my eye without shampooing it. Also, I'm not as good as I should be with my face brushes. Sometimes I don't deep clean these once a week, just like my big powder brush or brushes that I put on my contour with, brushes that don't come into eye contact with my face. I don't wash as frequently, which is kind of disgusting if I think about it. These are my dirty, filthy little piggy brushes that we are going to be washing today. As I'm sure you can see, they are all incredibly dirty and caked with brownish sort of makeup. Da 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 da. Ooh, instructions. Here is the Lalumia. I requested the Tokyo edition, which means that the base of it is a silver color. And I think they have five different color options. They've got like a pink one, a gold one, a matte black one, but I wanted the silver one. So that is the one that I asked for. It looks like a magical space egg. This reminds me of something that would be in 2001 Space Odyssey. Have you ever seen that movie? It's good. It's by Stanley Kubrick. This thing, I just started shoving makeup brushes in there without pressing record again, but this thing will clean up to 12 brushes at one time. So there are six different little slots in here. So you can clean six larger brushes at one time, or you can shove two brushes at a time in these little slots. And I don't know, do you see that? You are supposed to push these in there going this direction. Like you're supposed to feed them through backwards, you know? I'm just going to go through now and load up all of my brushes. We are all loaded up with these little piggy makeup brushes, ready to go, ready to get their bubble bath. The bottom of the egg shape has this little pad. Well, it's not really like a pad. It's like a plastic area with bumps on it. And this surface is really what agitates the brushes and gets them all nice and clean. All you have to do is add warm water and a little bit of their soap or their brush cleaner, I should say. And this small bottle is enough for three cleaning times. I believe each machine comes with one bottle of soap. So you just use two ounces of soap at a time and it's marked off for me where two ounces is already. So I will know how much to pour in and I won't mess it up and add too much or too little soap. This takes 10 minutes time to clean. There is a total cycle that it does all on its own. There are little colors that let you know when 
it's doing each cycle, but the whole thing only takes 10 minutes to do. And if I could clean 12 brushes in 10 minutes, that would just be such an amazing time saver. Literally, it takes me 30 to 40 minutes every time I wanna wash my brushes. It is a nightmare. I am going to bring you guys a little bit closer to the device and we're gonna plug it in and we're going to watch it clean my brushes. <gasps> Step one is to take your warm water and you're supposed to take 12 ounces. So I used this handy dandy measuring cup and filled the line up to 12 ounces. You pour it into the side here and there actually is a max fill line to also help you and make sure that you don't put in too much water. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the soap which you add to the top layer. So you just pour that right on top of this tray where the brushes are making contact. Next, we just snap this little thing of brushes onto here, boop. And the brushes are supposed to press down into this tray, but not have the ferrule bumped right up to it. So they're not supposed to be smashed in there, but all of the brushes are supposed to have the bristles kind of splayed out so that it gets a nice, good, deep cleaning. And I think all the brushes are in there just perfect. Now we just put the lid on like so. It twists closed like that. And now all you have to do is push this blue button. And I said before that the cycle was 10 minutes, but the cycle is actually 15 minutes. So you can see, oh, if I don't drop the camera, y'all can see that the brushes are moving in there and it looks like they are getting a nice little bubble bath already. I'm sorry for the glare, but if I don't have the lamp, you guys really can't see what's going on. And if I do have the lamp, there's a glare. I don't know what we do, you guys. Other than that, you literally don't have to do anything for 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. It just added more water all on its own. That is so cool. So now this light has changed to purple and it kind of looks pink in the video, but this is in its first rinse cycle. They give you this handy dandy little thing to decoding what each of the different colored lights mean. Now that it's shining purple, it's in its first rinse cycle. So ta-da, but I didn't have to push any other buttons or do anything. It's doing it all on its own. This is part of the 15 minute washing cycle. Oh my gosh. Okay, now it is draining out that water and it's going to fill up again. It must already be in its second wash cycle or about to be starting it. And it's a little bit foggy in here now since the water is so nice and warm. So I think it is going to fill up with water again for the second rinse cycle. But it's really still sucking the water out right now, I think. I can already kind of see Oh, look, there it goes again. It's filling the water back up. Ta-da! That's a pretty funny noise. <laughs> so there it goes again. And now the light is shining white. So that signifies that it is in its second rinse cycle. this pink light is flashing that is to let you know that it is complete and I'm thinking maybe I added a little bit too much soap this first time because there is still a lot of soapy bubbles left and you know I figure each of these devices there's going to be a little bit of trial and error but the awesome thing is is this pink light will blink for 15 minutes and as long as it's blinking you can add extra warm water to the top here for an extra 15 minute rinse. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is empty out this basin over here and this is where all of the dirty water went to. You can't see it in there but 
You also can't hear it sloshing, but just to make sure that it doesn't overfill or spill out or anything, I'm going to go ahead and go to the sink and dump out all of this dirty water so that I can do the optional extra rinse cycle. As you guys can see, the bubbles have already dissipated quite a bit. I haven't added any extra water or done anything. I am still going to do the optional rinse cycle because these larger brushes were really dirty. So for the extra rinse, you just add a little bit of water into the top cleaning area and they say be careful and don't overfill it. Um, they don't give you an exact amount of water anywhere for this additional rinse cycle and this additional rinse cycle lasts for another 15 minutes, but you're not using any more soap, just water. So I'm going to go ahead and push this button one more time. And now it's just going to clean the brushes a little bit more and make sure that I got all of the soap out of the brushes and then the water will drain and the brushes will be completely clean. Okay, so let's open up our magical space egg and see what we got. I just finished the extra rinse cycle. We just twist the brushes up, twist the brushes up. I'm a newbie at this. Ah, there we go. Okay, so here are our brushes. They still look quite soapy and damp, of course. And I do have a confession to make. Right when I started filming this video, I accidentally thought both the soap and the water go in this basin, but the soap goes up top and the water goes in the bottom. As I am draining these, you're supposed to press them to get the excess water out. As you guys can tell, there is still a lot of soap squeezing out of them, but I think that that is user error. So I think I'm gonna have to run the whole thing again and just run it with water this time and no soap because even with the additional optional rinse cycle, they are still quite soapy. Also, I feel like I erred a little bit on the cautionary side and maybe I didn't make enough contact with some of the areas of the brushes. As you can see on these larger ones, there is still a little bit of makeup, but all of these smaller brushes, I think I pushed down really well because they look perfectly clean to me. I feel like this device is kind of like all things. You just have to use it a little bit to familiarize yourself with the device. But so far, I am really impressed with the amount of cleaning that they have done. It's just clearly I added way, way too much soap. Here we go. I'm just going to add this water and I'm so silly. You guys know me. I always am so excited to test something out that I I often leave things overlooked so they actually give you a special Lumia measuring cup to use that has a line for 12 ounces for the water and a line for three ounces for the soap that once again is user error so I'm just going to go ahead and push the brushes down one more time and really make sure that they have contact as I think some of the areas got neglected last time because I didn't have it pushed down quite far enough you just don't want to smash them down because that will ruin them but I think some of them I didn't make contact with all the way so I'm just gonna make sure that they are really seated in there nicely I think they have enough residual soap in them for another cycle so we are just going to start it over and let it do its own thing and see what kind of results we get. Already I can tell that the brushes are amazingly white and clean. So now let's go ahead and extract them from their little magical space dome. Ta-da! And there we go. So I can definitely see that these brushes now are cleaned all the way around. And this one is sparkling clean. And this time it looks like just water is squeezing out from them and not soapy water. Thank goodness. I am really, really impressed with this. So what you're supposed to do is leave the brushes sitting like this. And I'm trying to get it to sit just right, but there's a way that they twist up and sit in here to allow them to air dry. Now, since 
since I am a little bit crazy about cleaning, I would probably just go ahead and take them out at this point and spritz them with a light 91% alcohol spray, but you can set them in here. I'm trying to get it to sit just right because what they recommend you doing is just leaving the brushes hanging down to air dry. And I'm trying to see, I know it's probably not supposed to sit lopsided, but there we go. I mean, that would work. What they're technically supposed to do is sit just like this. And after you squeeze the excess water out of them, you can leave them in the machine like this to hang dry. And then that way there's no water left down here in the ferrule. And they do recommend that you leave them like this overnight. And to me, that's just awesome because I try and clean my brushes after I use them and then I let them sit for flat for a day anyway until the next day when I want to put my makeup on. I am pretty excited about this device. I feel like it did a really good job of cleaning these brushes. Definitely better than what I can do, especially on these larger brushes. I really don't have that great of hand strength anymore. So to kind of like really deep clean and do the constant like pressing and rubbing even with the cleaning mats that I have. When I was in that car accident a couple years ago, I really don't have that great of a hand strength. You know, I just don't feel like I'm really cleaning them that well and it takes so much time and I'm never really sure if I'm getting all of the soap out and now that I can just kind of see the water is coming out not soapy I'm convinced that all the soap has been rinsed out so I'm sorry that kind of like my first demo was a little bit of a flub but even having to rinse the brushes twice I feel like it was such a time saver and it allows me to go and edit videos or film another video or run errands or eat lunch or do anything else in the world with all of that time except for washing my brushes and like I said personally I would probably still spritz just a little bit of alcohol on them because I feel like when I'm washing and drying my brushes spritzing a little bit of alcohol on it helps them to dry a little bit faster helps it to soak up some more of the water to prevent mold but I am very very excited I do believe this device is a little bit on the pricier side and to be honest, I didn't look up the price. Like I said, this is a sponsored video. So they sent me this device to test out and review for you guys. But the holidays are right around the corner. And if you're really into makeup and you hate cleaning your brushes, maybe this would be a cool device to ask for for Christmas. So this is just my absolute first use of this device. But right now I really think that I like it. I believe that they are a new company. Company. They just contacted me out of the blue and asked me if I wanted to do a sponsored review and I was just so excited for a automatic brush cleaning device that I jumped on the opportunity and I said yes. So I know I don't do that many sponsored videos, but I hope you guys don't mind this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. If you have any makeup items or any makeup things that you would like to see here in First Impression Friday, go ahead and leave it as a comment down below so I can see some different items that you guys would like for me to swatch or test. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. And also thank you to Lumia for sending me this awesome device. I'm gonna go deep clean all of my brushes now. <laughs> if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Graveyard Girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at Graveyard Girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.